this is a silky big boy and uh, as you can see it's quite formidable it is a silky big boy professional 6.5 so I think that's 6.5 teeth to every uh, inch it has two settings it has a setting that you can see now and then for a slightly different type of sawing it's a lower down let's say and as some of you guys might know this saw works on the pull pull action so putting pressure forward like so is uh putting all your energy in a forward motion forward stroke is not going to do that much and it's going to waste your energy and could easily damage sort of like this blade the blade's quite thick so you want to pull the main action and now best to use this tool now let's go and find some dead standing and put this little baby or big boy into action some dead standing here leaning over in the style of a widow maker so we'll give that a go first this one looks good enough it's going to be a bit of a mission getting it out but we can start with this so we don't get the saw trapped go from the underside Seat breaking there. Let's see if we that's done. There you go. Like a samurai sword. Much quicker than using an axe. Really less effort. As you can see, I'm moving away. I don't want this to bounce off my knee. Happy days. Ah, oh, the weather's changed somewhat. In the UK right now, yesterday, it was cracking the flags, that's a colloquial saying, and uh, today, it's wet, wet, wet. But hey ho, as the saying goes, be prepared, it's going to take some maneuvering to get it out I'm just gonna have to saw it saw it here basically live on the action cam nice and dry inside very light it's actually uh, struggling a bit really on this type of wood when you pull like that it's bouncing slightly see if I've got it on the right setting so we'll move it up a notch like so to 
get rid of these little branches. Let's see if this is the better setting. feel any more comfortable. mostly dry inside something like this a decent size we're talking about what 10 12 12 inches not a problem. For this type of width and thicker, I think this, the big boy, is suitable. It doesn't bounce, whereas on the smaller branches, it won't bounce if you use this part. So this, let me just place this here. So this section here, what I've found is, if you use that for your hard to reach areas, it tends, to, it tends not to bounce, I'll show you what I mean. So we'll give this uh, oak sapling a bit of a chance. This whips right through it. As you can see, that's dead. So you know I'm not destroying the forest. A smaller piece, I mean I can't even reach this. That's good there for a little bit of kindling. But this piece up here, we're talking that's gotta be about seven, eight, nine. It's about nine, ten, four up this. It goes through that no problem. It's all handy stuff, it's all dead. Very handy. Let's see what we can do here. You see wherever you've got. Um, resin seeping like that you know there's going to be some fat wood in this joint here in this limb so let's 
give this a try. beautiful so I'll just uh, chop this end off here this is a dead piece by the way nothing growing on it and uh, I will have that nice and tidy so what I've got to do is just try and justify in my own mind whether this is worth spending a pricely sum on when I've got the gun boy a gun boy tends to do me for an, an overnighter or just a day, a day out foraging or whatever, or for a couple of nights. How often am I going to use this for the price that I've paid? If I was going out for two or three days and I need a good supply of wood and I wanted to build myself a uh, shelter and also a bed, or a, a camp where I'm going to stay for uh, two or three days, maybe four days. If I want to cut a major amount of timber, I would use it. The Gone Boy would be a little bit too small I think for that type of project it's worth it in a sense if you need any big logs this is the one the big boy is what you use now I think this is for more your sort of like this level like so where you need to press down and do a bit of downforce rather than like so I'll find out. With more use, I'll find out where that comes in handy. But uh, yeah, it's worth the money. But I'll, all I'm going to do with this is use this more when I'm doing um, three day camps. If you want to do finer cuts, then the Gone Boy is going to be much better. These teeth are a lot bigger 6.5 per uh, inch per 30 millimeters, where the Gone Boy is 10 per 30 millimeters. So you're going to get a finer cut. But this is definitely for the bigger, tastier morsels out there. Whilst using it, I found it really, really user friendly, ergonomically friendly, and very, very handy for them hard to reach pieces of timber. No effort. And that would be a nice, tasty piece of timber there for, um, for a bit of kindling. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Um, obviously, I'm not sponsored by these guys, but I just thought I'd share it with you. There are plenty of other videos out there, but this one is mine, and I thought I'd give this a good trial. And um, you can see it in the field as I use it on camp. So I hope this has helped you along the way, guys. Uh, yeah, the Silky Gone Boy, it is a beast. So I hope this has helped you along the way, guys. The Silky Big Boy is a beast. Um, it's not quite the same size as the Katana Boy. Um, for that, you're doing some serious tree felling. If you haven't done already, consider subscribing. Press the notification button. You'll really help me out if you do that. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. You take care. Continue watching. Keep safe. And be prepared. Ciao for now.